Continuing coverage here tonight at 5, we now know the name of a 20-year-old man shot and killed yesterday in Cedar Rapids. Malik Sheets died after being shot during a fight at a party, and this was not the only shooting in the city yesterday. KWW reporter Ashley Neighbor explains. There were four shootings yesterday in Cedar Rapids in just 18 hours. While we don't know if they're related, one of them was fatal, another one sending an 18-year-old to the hospital. The first shooting, a fatal one, happened around 5 a.m. at this house for sale on Regent Street Northeast. Police say it occurred during a fight at a party. Malik Sheets died after being shot in his upper body. The second shooting happened just after 5 p.m. in this northwest neighborhood. A total of six homes were shot up by someone from a car. Neighbors told me they also saw people riding scooters through the area before the shooting. Several bullets even piercing house walls, hitting inside living rooms. One man told me his kids were in inside at the time. Another said he was sitting at his kitchen table with his wife. We take some kind of, I guess, solace in that it, it was, um, you know, nothing to do with our neighborhood. It happened to be passersby type deal. So, um, but yeah, it's still going to be in the back of our minds, um, you know, throughout the summer and I'm sure to continue just um, to always be a little bit more on alert. Another shooting 90 minutes later in the 5,000 block of C Avenue Northeast. An 18-year-old shot riding a scooter by someone driving by. Police later receiving multiple 911 calls near Kirkwood's campus around 11 p.m., finding shell casings, but no one injured. That 18-year-old was sent to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. However, that fatal shooting yesterday morning marked the eighth homicide in the city this year. The Cedar Rapids police chief tells me one is one too many. Here more from him tonight at 6. Reporting in Cedar Rapids, Ashley Neighbor, News 7, KWWL. Ashley, thanks a lot. Yeah, it's been six years the last time that Cedar Rapids actually had eight homicides. That was back in 2014. And by the way, in addition, 11 people yesterday charged with federal gun law violations at the federal courthouse in Cedar Rapids.